Sing it. Hey guys. Hi. We're gonna jump in this tuk-tuk. First tuk-tuk here in India. Let's go. Hello. Alright. Alright, we're all aboard. This is cool. Look, but at the top, there's soccer balls. Whoa! Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. This is actually really comfortable. The seats are nice and comfortable. It's I'm covered. Sweating. Yeah, it's been yesterday was pretty hot. Today it's nice. It's a little less hot, but it's still kind of early in the day too, so I think India is just going to be a hot Wee country for us. <laughs> uh, driving here in India is kind of like in Vietnam. There's just a lot of honking going on, but I think we kind of have to get used to that. I think that's the method of driving in a lot of places that are heavily populated. And look how close we're getting. Is Tuk Tuk still your favorite mode of transportation? Yes! I'm sweating! Thank you! Thank you. First Tuk Tuk ride was a success. So we just took a ride of over 25 minutes to get to the coastal area and it was less than $2. Wow. Just saying. So we're going to check out the menu here, but I think this is where we'll be eating. Let's go, guys. Thank you. We've arrived. Everyone's eating. It looks really good, so we're going to get some food to try out. Some food for the kids. Um, Anything non-spicy? Spicy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, Just one chicken biryani. Chicken beef, mutton, fish. Oh, you want mutton biryani? Yeah. Well, maybe let's get two. Okay, let's do a chicken biryani and a mutton biryani. One chicken, one mutton. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then do you have naan? No naan? Okay. But it's not like a nice bread. So water is cold water? Chilled water? Chilled water, yeah. I guess there's no menu. <laughs> You just kind of know what you want. We're going to get a chicken biryani and a mutton biryani, and we'll see if the kids will eat that or not. They've never tried it, so we'll see. Okay, thank you. Where are you from? From the U.S. Yes. Yeah. These are all in this chicken. This is the mutton yeah. and the chicken. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> Chicken fried? Okay, we order one of those. Okay, we got our mutton biryani. It's not a ton of food. We thought it was going to be enough, but it's not a lot, so we're going to order some more. Then we've got this little stuff, which is like a, I don't know. <laughs> All right, kiddos are going to try it first. Let's see what they think. What do you think, sis? Try some of your rice. Just use your hands. You can just use your hands. Whatever you want. Here I go with a big knot. You like it? Yeah? All right. It's, this is kind of a little spicy. A little spicy? What do you think, bud? You like it? Try Never your rice. Better. Never better. Try your rice, please. And then we'll get you some chicken, too. You gonna try the chicken, sis? Go for it. You like it? Yummy. All right, perfect. Try it. Try it all together. Just mix it up. There you go. What do you think? Yummy? <laughs> I told you to try it. All right, so a little bit of what we got. We got the mutton biryani. It was served with uh, some of this stuff. There's onions and some peppers and this sauce. I'm not sure what this is. This is the Kochi special that was recommended by our server. We're gonna try it out. Thank you. We're from the US. USA. Yes. Yeah. Do you get many visitors to the restaurant that are from the US? Yeah. You do? Okay, cool. All right, um, I'll just eat it like this. Mm. 
That is so good. Let me try it with some rice. It's so good. It's juicy. And it's not super spicy. It's a little spicy, but not too bad. I don't know if the kids are going to like it or not, but you guys should definitely try it. India is like every kid's dream come true because you can eat with your hands. There's no utensils required. That's, this is the culture. That's, that's how it is here. Sammy told me to eat with my fork, but we're going to try it out the Indian way and try to eat with our hands. It's going to get messy, but we're going to enjoy it. <laughs> Ooh, Sammy. I'm usually a very picky eater, but Indian food is like the one area where I feel comfortable getting out of my comfort zone. And I feel like as long as I don't know what all is in it, I actually like almost everything. So I'm excited. I'm excited to spend some time here and, and get take in all the flavors and smells and experience in India, the culinary India. So this was served with our meal. It's onions, some peppers, tomatoes, and then there's this jam. And the jam is a date sauce. It's delicious. So I asked how to eat it. And they told me to mix it all in with the rice, which I did. And it makes a completely different experience. The taste is awesome. I don't know how else to describe it. But I'm gonna finish up this Lamborghini. And I ordered some chai as well, which is a traditional drink here in India. This might be my first time ever trying actual chai tea. Nicole's gonna try it. I think it's delicious. Just be careful, it's, yeah, be careful, it's actually hot. Can you describe the taste? I would say it's like a black tea with milk and a tiny bit, but not enough honey in it. <laughs> that's, a, that's the mix of flavors I'm getting. But I don't like that bitter aftertaste. All right, we're wrapping up our first authentic Indian restaurant experience. The food was delicious. It's very flavorful, it's very spicy. Not in a hot, spicy way, but there's lots of flavors. But we got to experience authentically using our hands. The kids did a pretty good job. They didn't like some of the food, but we're gonna find more foods that they like. The chai was delicious. There's a washroom here at the back of the restaurant where people go wash up after they eat their food. So I'm gonna head back there and get washed up. The total for all of this, our entire bill, came out. We had chicken biryani, lamb biryani, uh, the Kochi special, and a bottle of water. It came out to less than $8. Uh, that was some really good food. The restaurant's name is something biryani. I'll, I'll put the name in the description down below. Really good, very friendly staff. We're gonna try to find the kids a little more to eat because they didn't get full, unfortunately. So we're gonna get them a little bit more food. So let's go try to see if we can find some naan. We've had a lot of people approach us to ask for money, which is never comfortable <laughs> refusing because we want to help people, but unfortunately you just can't help everybody. This one man was following us around on a tuk-tuk. I wouldn't leave us alone, actually. That's where the restaurant is supposed to be. Right here? Yeah. Oh, maybe it's shut down. Hello. This lady's approaching us with a child. It's so uncomfortable saying no, but it's uh, non-stop. There's people approaching us from all over the place. This man's following us. Maybe we came to the wrong part of town. You see those? They're pretty, huh, sis? Yeah. Get in front of me, guys. Get in front of me. Keep going. Picked up a pair of shades, four bucks. This guy just kept approaching us, like touching us and asking us for money. He kept pointing to his feet. His shoes were broken, but that was a pretty uncomfortable situation. We try to find the non and then explore a little bit more. All right, we've made our way over to Marine Drive walkway. I can see the ocean just beyond the end of the sidewalk here. We didn't find any non, but we found a bunch of candy, which <laughs> Nicole couldn't help herself. She got a bunch of candy for the kids and herself. It's pretty windy over here. Sammy's hat flew off. Hold on your hat, bud. What do you guys sis? I got shell and beans, some licorice, and some of these. Eat it. <laughs> oh, you silly girl. Now we got the ice cream shop. I'm more about ice cream. I don't like candy that much. What we got, guys? I want 
six. Oh yeah, I'll take some mango after. The blueberry? No, the vanilla strawberry one. It's vanilla and strawberry. I I want to try it. Thank you. Do you have one? How is it, bud? You like that one? You gonna get some? No, I got you. Oh, you got Diet Coke? Oh, do you wanna try that one, bud? That's the one daddy's gonna get. You want one in a cone, baby, or in a cup? Which one do you want? More? How's that one? Horrible. Maybe I shouldn't get the mango one. Sorry, I left a bad review. I got some mango ice cream. I'm gonna try to eat this. I'm holding Teddy, holding the camera, and I got my mango ice cream. Let's try it out. Glad I got some new shades. I lost my shades in Bangkok. We were riding in a tuk-tuk and I looked up to see one of the skyscrapers and my shades flew off my head, fell in the street, and by the time I could even think, we were moving along in the tuk-tuk. And I haven't replaced them since then, so that's been, let's see, we were in Bangkok, and then we were in the Philippines, and then we were in Malaysia. I haven't replaced them in like two months, so. Mmm, that's really yummy. I love mango ice cream, mango shakes, mangoes themselves. Yummy. How is it, buddy? Do you want to try it? I'll try it. Mmm. That's delicious. Enjoy. Enjoy. I did just realize that the sunglass vendor shorted me and changed. I gave him a 500. It was 250. He only gave me 150 back. Got to be more careful about confirming what change we get back. I think maybe it was unintentional. The clothing here is spectacular. Now I'm going to head over. Oh, I see some people on a boat. Let's go check it out. What does this say? It says, don't wait for opportunity. Create it. That means don't wait for things to happen. Just you do just it. do it. <laughs> the kids just bought poppers and they tried to open them and then half of them fell out on the floor. All right, you got a few left. Were those all yours that fell out, bud? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, that was a good one. Took a nice little stroll down the boardwalk here. The boat prices are 3,000 per hour. There's a one hour trip, a two hour trip, and a three hour trip. About 36 bucks per person. A little pricey, but maybe we'll come back and do one later on. But not today. There's a little tea stain here. We're gonna get some iced tea. A glass here to, to drink? Okay. Kids have found a nice little spot in the shade. Not, they decided to sit right in the sun. Sis, what do you think of India so far? I think it's awesome. You think it's awesome? Mm-hmm. Good. But what do you think of India so far? All I want is poppers. <laughs> All you want is poppers? Well, let's see if we can find some for you in a little bit. What do you that Can I have one? Can I have one? Nani. Mm. How is it, sis? I kind of like it. What's it taste like? Like yeah. You don't, you don't like it? No. You like it, but you don't like it? Looks like Sawyer likes it. He's chugging it. You like it, bud? <laughs> All right, good. Sawyer likes it. Sissy doesn't. Mmm. Do like it's it? really good. You I like it. it. It's really good. Can I want this? Can it's I got a... Some? Yeah, yeah, you can try it again. Okay, baby, like you can it. try it. When she does this, that means... You don't like it? All right, Sammy and Nicole don't like it. Me and Sawyer like it. Uh, what? When she does this, she means, she means it, it tastes medium. Medium? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, tea was pretty good. Now we're hydrated. Now we're going to head over the bridge. Sawyer wants more poppers because he spilled most of his. Maybe we'll find another popper vendor. But look, there's some ferry boats. This is mommy. Not today. Thank you. We saw this coming through when we were on the tuk-tuk. It's a short little bridge. Oh, there's more of the boardwalk here. A lot more people, actually. We got several people trying to sell us a boat ride. Several people asking us for money. Yeah. Sorry. Not today. Not today, yeah. Maybe maybe on the weekend. 3,000 per hour? That's the price, yeah. Not today. You see guys in the dolphin area? Not today, though. We hadn't planned it to go on today. We are Dolphin Point, uh, Shipyard, Naval Base, Grand Hyatt, oh, Building Dana and Dana. Which boat? This boat here? Boat. Family, sit here. 
So there's hundred rupees. Yeah, this, so this guy sells a hundred rupees per hour. The other guys were peddling three thousand rupees per hour. I don't know which one to believe. He's got air conditioned boat ride. So we just had to come down a little ways to save twenty nine hundred rupees. So not today. Do you have a card? Okay, card. Perfect. Sibo. Okay, thank you. Maybe this weekend. Are you open this weekend? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. So we passed another boat cruise that's 600 for a two hour cruise, so that's 300 per hour. It's air conditioned, it's a very large boat. So I'm glad we didn't fall victim to the scam of 3,000 per hour. That's just outrageous compared to these other ones. We just had to come across the bridge. The very first person across the bridge was trying to sell for 3,000 per hour, but a little bit beyond that, they're no doing the normal prices. Lots of vendors selling some kids toys. Not today, thank you. Slinkies. <laughs> That's some pretty cool toys, but we're not doing toys right now. We had a little bit more of the boardwalk to explore, but every 10 feet or so someone's asking to give money. It's getting a little bit overwhelming, so we're going to grab a tuk-tuk, we're going to head back home. We're going to go explore India a little bit on this tuk-tuk ride. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Where are we going today, darling? We're going to an iron bridge that has a little path walkway near a river. So we're just gonna go explore and hopefully see a cow. Oh, oh big bump. <laughs> the roads are pretty narrow here. Seems like a one-way street, but I guess it's not. There are lots of close calls here. I feel like we're gonna have an accident at any moment, but I guess it's normal. this spot out. I'm not sure how or why she found it, but we are going down back some gravel road. Well, I guess it's paved. This is full of potholes. I looked on Google Maps on the satellite view and picked a place that looked cool. Oh, look. Oh, wow. So you going to take us back there? No, I think we're close. Okay, drop us off here. There goes our ride. Hopefully we can get another ride to come back. This is cool, they got these boats. There's another one coming the other way. I guess this is metro transportation. It says water metro. That's pretty neat. I wonder how far it takes you up. It's a transit system on the water. Yeah, it goes pretty far it's from all the way here, not to the west, west, up north, all the way to here east. I didn't even know that. That's pretty neat. Now we're heading that way. I love this family. Some guys parked off on the side of the road up here on their motorbikes. Maybe doing some photography. There's a goat looking at mama. A goat. Oh, there's a goat. Oh, she looked up when I'm mad at her. There's bikes coming, guys. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Oh, caterpillar. Spike. Come on. There looks to be a path coming out of the water. I wonder if there's an animal that's coming out of there. Going into this. Marsh. Not familiar with the wildlife here, but maybe there's gators or something that come out. Oh, there's another path. Yeah, there's definitely, definitely things that are going into or coming out of the water. That'd be cool if we could see something. It's pretty cool. The temperature is nice. It's not too hot right now. It is late in the day. It's about 5, 5.30. So it's cooled off. Earlier in the day, it gets pretty hot. It was up in the 90s earlier, so we stayed inside and tried to keep cool. Wait till the sun starts going down to get out and explore today. 
Nicole picked a little nature walk for us, which has been enjoyable. We're gonna keep making our way this way. See if we can find this iron bridge. It's nice out here though, it's peaceful. I love it. Makes you happy? Yeah. If you're happy, that's all that matters. We're approaching a wall. Let's go check it out. Oh, there's a Chinese fishing net. We'll, we'll go see how they work. Oh, this is the bridge? Oh, it looks like they're doing some net fishing over there. Let's go see. All right, this is the iron bridge. Smaller than I first thought. Look guys, he's gonna cast his net. To catch fish. Nice. What do you think about that, bud? Let's see if he got anything. Let's see. He's rolling it up. Did he get anything? Oh yeah, I think he's empty handed. All right, his turn. Oh, big boat coming through. Wow, that's so cool. Oh, there's a cow. Somebody moving that? It's like a bamboo dam. Keeps out all the debris. Another bike. There's some more people over there casting nets. Alright, he's gonna give it another go. See if he gets anything on this cast. Oh, I see one. Did he catch? Oh, did he get it or did he get out? He got it. Let's see if he holds in there. Did he get it? Oh, I think he got one. Pretty good size too. Got a few of them. Stack them up in a little pile there. Along the bank here, there's a uh, there's a ridge. Bunch of crows, some cows wandering. I'm not sure if this is just trash that's built up over time or there's some dirt there. So this path supposedly leads us out to the main street. Don't know how long it is, but we're gonna make our way this way. Explore a bit more. See what else we can find. Was that cool guys watching them fish with a net? Have you ever seen that before? <laughs> They're just playing. That was pretty neat to see them catch a fish in the net. Yeah, I think there's a row. These are like apartment buildings. So we can go that way. Hello. Hi. Bye, bye. Yeah, let's go this way. Come on, guys. It gets darker a little later here than it did in... Well, Malaysia was okay. It got dark pretty late there. But in the Philippines, it got dark pretty early. So I like it that it gets dark here a little later because we're able to come out and explore more in the late afternoon or early evening, especially when it cools off, which is nice. The sun will be setting soon though. This is neat and enjoyable. Nice breeze. Here's some music in the distance. Kids are having fun. <laughs> They're just playing the whole time. But it's good for them to get out of the house. That doesn't look like stone or brick though. It looks like, I don't know, it kind of looks like wood. What is this? Oh yeah, it's stone. It's like clay stone. I've never seen a house built out of that material. We're in India, walking down some back road near a river with some music playing in the distance. There's trash everywhere. <laughs> this is a real authentic Indian experience. And it's awesome. Uh, hopefully that just leads us to a street. Yeah, okay. Uber is the ride sharing app here instead of Grab. We've been used to using Grab for the last several months. But Uber, we haven't used Uber since Mexico, right? Yeah. Hopefully they will come get us. <laughs> I asked our tuk-tuk driver before he left if someone will come get us and he said use Uber. 
So hopefully. Wow, look at this. This is nice. It's another hot day here in India. We're making our way over to Fort Kochi. This will be our first time in that area. It's about a 30 minute tuk tuk ride, but it's near the beach and it's famous for its Chinese fishing nets, which we're excited to check out. They build these cool nets next to the beach and they're gonna try to catch some fish. Yeah, are you excited to see that? You wanna see if we can see them do that today? First thing we're gonna do is try to find some lunch. We'll see you there. All right, we made it. Come on, guys. Let's go eat. Loafer's Corner Cafe. We're gonna check this out and see what food there is. Oh, that looks pretty nice. Dad, we are going to try the blue magical lemonade. If you put this in, you will turn the blue lemonade into pink lemonade. Here we go. It's gonna be epic. This is lemon and sugar that mixes Whoa. in. Whoa, there we go. Mix it in. You want some more? Sit? Did you try yeah, it yet? Try it. No, but I want you to. You want to try some hang more? On, hang on. We want. All right. Oh. Well, All right. Taste it and see if you like it. Oh, Bubby's trying it. He loves it. And sis. And it tastes even more. It tastes even more. No, a lot more. More, 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 more. I think that's enough. Daddy, can, can I have a little bit more? Can I try? Yeah. Watch what I did. Watch it. I'm about to try it. Tastes magical. Put some more in there for you. Getting all of it. And that's it. It's all gone. Oh. Can I try it? Ooh, that's sweet. Can I try it now? So each of the kids got the blue magical lemonade. I just got a peach tea, which is actually really good. It's very delicious. We ordered some food. Not supposed to videotape and record in here, but we did ask for permission to do at least the drinks because they were so cool. I don't know if I'll get any footage of the food or not, but we're gonna enjoy our meal here and then we're gonna go explore Fort Kochi. All right, enjoy, sis. <laughs> Enjoyed our lunch. Got some chicken nuggets and fries for the kiddos. They also had an egg cheese sandwich, which was pretty good. I had a burger. Nicole had a mushroom and egg omelet. Chicken, mushroom and chicken egg omelet. And we shared a delicious Oreo cookie dessert, which we ended up fighting over at the end. <laughs> it's a nice little stroll down the street. Found a huge playground here, but it's closed. It looks like they're doing some construction, some repairs to it, so kids can't plan on it today. There's lots of little hotels and places for people to stay, some boutique shops. But now we are entering Kochi Eat dial. Little vendor set up. Kids keep getting distracted by all these toys. Little pups. Is the mommy in there? No? What do you think about those pups, sis? Yeah? You're getting here. I'm operating the photo baby looking fish. The live fish. Oh, the net? Yeah. So we've been approached by this gentleman to check out the nets. Yeah, my life. Thank you. Thank you. Birds everywhere, flying around. Watch your steps, sis. We've got several of these nets set up. Let's we'll see how this works. Yeah, here it comes. So stay where you're at. Okay. Run through here. <laughs> There's some heavy rocks tied onto these. Wow. All right, watch. Let's go come see. On. Come, on. come on. Hang on, sis. We got to go see if there's fish in there. You think there's fish? All right, let's look. <laughs> All right, they're pulling it up. My name is Joseph. What is your name, baby? My name is Joseph Alexander. Your name? Yeah. My name is Joseph Alexander. Joseph. 
My name is Joseph. My name is Joseph too. They got some fish, now they're putting the net back down in the water. This is old school technology. So this is all set up with the pulleys. Okay, you want to go? I'll be dead. Yes! Here, you want to come pull the rope, sis? Yeah? yeah? Alright, come on, guys, we're going to do it together. I'm confused. Oh, there we go, guys. Pull it. The rocks are high. Ooh la la. 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 All right, it's an F. It's coming down on its own. Watch your heads. <laughs> Did we catch any fish? Okay, leave it. Come on. You think we got some, bud? They caught plenty with the vulture. Say, oh, happy yeah. New Year! I love you. <laughs> my friend, my is that cool, guys? Pull the rope, pull the rope. All right, look what yeah. they got. All right, thank you. We'll give them some money. I don't know how much they want, but that was pretty neat. We got to do old school Chinese net fishing. <laughs> Thank you so much. Guys, what do you say? Nani? Nani? Daddy, can we please pull the rope from No, that's it. Let's get out of here. It's okay. Thank you so much. Okay. okay. All children stop. Come on. So they just, they lured us in, which is fine. And they let us pull the net, which is fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was all fine, but then at the end they start asking for more and more and more money, which I get, I understand. We gave them some money, but it's never enough, it seems. All good, though. Come on. Thank you so much. We gave the kids a 100 rupee allowance for today. We came across some umbrellas. It's a super hot day. We got them lathered up in some sunscreen. Thought they might like an umbrella, but they didn't want to spend their money on that. They saw this toy stand here, though. I'm pretty sure they're going to walk away with something from here. What do you think, sis? See anything you like? Yeah. Like what? Look down and look at the This Barbie? Barbie foam with glasses? Did you find something, bud? Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Sammy, you want bubble? You got poppers and a uh, phone game? What'd you get, sis? Um, Barbie thingy and, and my phone. And there's two phones. One water one and one of these. Where you get to, like, click buttons on the ball. Cool. 150. 150. 150. Oh, okay. 150. Didn't he say this was 20? I wasn't listening. More 140. Put one back, sis. Why? Just no. Wait, wait. Okay. I'm thinking what else. Get ready to change. Change, change. I have 30. 30. Okay. Now I'm going to write down prices. And... Look, I got two rings. Good job, sis. Kid got him some toys. Apparently, the price was different than what was originally stated, but I guess it's part of it. So, here you got your poppers now, bud. Don't spill them all this time, like you did the other day. guys are using their manual nets to try to catch some fish. Noodle maker. Is it cool? You could if you cooked it. So we just came across these. They're uh, steam boilers. 
What's the spice on it? Uh, spicy. Chili it is powder. spicy? Yeah. No chili, no chili. No, oh, it's chili powder. Yeah. We've come across a couple of these, pineapple and mango with chili powder on it, you see? Bobby, you want to try? No. Thank you. We made it over to Fort Kochi Beach. On the seas are pretty rough, so no one's out swimming. No one's out on the beach. It's a pretty small beach. There's some little cafe stands set up, some ice cream, lots of tuk-tuk drivers set up. There's not a whole lot going on here. There's this cool little wall of artwork. It's pretty neat. You're like an eagle, bud. So I think we're gonna catch a ride. We're wrapping up our first week here in India. Got little Sawyer man with me. We're gonna head to the Lulu International Mall. It's the largest mall in India. They have an arcade center. We're gonna go have some fun. Nicole and without, Sammy. Without Sissy and Mommy, because they went to dance. Sammy and Mommy went to an arts and crafts class. So they're gonna be there for a couple hours and Sawyer and I are gonna head over and Here's play some arcade. arcade. So far, our trip in India has been off to a great start. We've got Sammy signed up for some Indian dance yeah. classes. She does that twice a week. We tried out a Taekwondo class, but the kiddos, <laughs> the kiddos weren't good for that. So we're gonna try something else out. Hello, how are you? You wanna sit all the way over there? It's a little different. We're used to all four of us being in here. There's a lot more room now. Are you excited to play some arcade? You wanna get some ice cream too later? Maybe you wanna try one of the faludas? I think I want the ice cream. Ice cream? All right, let's What's go. What's a faluda? It's like an ice cream, but it has fruits in it and nuts and jellies. You know? I want regular ice cream. Just regular ice cream? All right, we'll get some regular ice cream. What flavor would you like? Do they have any butterscotch? Maybe. We'll have to look. And I would like the butterscotch. Butterscotch, all right. Love you, buddy. Oh. <laughs> I run people over. All right, here we are. Thank you. Have a nice day. Hello. What's up? Yes. That's not the real bumblebee? Is that a fake bumblebee? That's how he looks? Yeah, he's pretty cool, huh? Blue eyes, those are lit up eyes. Here, let's go upstairs and we'll go to the arcade, okay? Hey, you gotta step on the check mark. Come, come down here. The escalators here have X's or check marks for where to stand. I'm not sure if that was a COVID thing or if that's just how it is normally. Yeah, but it looks like every other, what? Well, no, there's two X's in between each check mark. Try to keep people distanced. So this is the largest mall in India. It's got everything. There's luxury brands. There are non-luxury brands. Pretty much everything that you could imagine is here at this mall. And it's five stories, I think, maybe four stories. So it's huge. We came here the other day to check it out. We had some lunch. They've got a lot of different options to eat lunch. And we're not gonna eat lunch today. We already had lunch at home. We might grab some dessert after we go play around at the arcade. But yeah, this place is amazing. There's everyone from all around the region here and Kerala. I'm sure they come to check out the Lulu International Mall. The arcade is, oh, oh, gotta get on the check. The arcade's all the way up at the top and it's pretty cool up there. They also have, in addition to the arcade, they have like a little amusement park for kids. We didn't check that out. It's a little pricey. Uh, we're not planning on doing that today. We're just going to the arcade. We're going to grab some dessert. And then we're going to head back home and meet Nicole and Sammy. Oh, who's this? Who's this over here? Can I take a picture with you? You want to go take a picture? Yeah, go up there. <laughs> so this is Hamley's. Hamley's Toys. Good job. This is a toy store. 
that has all kinds of plush toys, stuffed animals, kids games, everything. Established in London in 1760. Never heard of it, but oh, he's giving it hugs. Oh. Oh, was he fluffy? Yeah, I think he was. I wish that guy was real. We got one more level to go. Get on the check mark. There we go. The food court is also upstairs, so we'll hit the arcade, and then we're gonna grab. I want a Faluda. I've never heard of Faludas before we came to India, but we tried one out, or at least I tried one out, and it's really good. It's a Faluda Nation, right over there along with some other dessert options. You got Baskin Robbins, some other treats. There's a barbecue next to Hello. It's not, it's not allowed. No videos allowed? Right, wrapping up our day here at Lulu International Mall. Unfortunately, I didn't get to film much inside during the arcade. We did play some games. We had a lot of fun, right, bud? I got some balloons. Sorry, I got some balloons. We had some ice cream. I had a Faluda. When we got to the top floor, they told me I had to put the camera away that no video recording was allowed. I don't know, I didn't want to cause any trouble. So we're wrapping up our first week here in India. It's been great. Thank you guys for watching. We will see you in the next one.